Hey everyone, I'm Ash Marie. I'm an artist, small business owner. I make candles and resin art. Some may call me an entrepreneur, but honestly, I'm just here to spread good vibes, positive energy, and share my story with you guys. And be sure to watch this video all the way to the end because I will be having a giveaway with a few items and I just wanna make sure y'all get that information on how to enter. using some hair oil for my hair. I haven't really been doing my makeup a whole lot. I've had this palette for a few years, I'm not even gonna lie. It's from Nikki Tutorials. It doesn't look too horrible for me never cleaning it. I always use this one right here for my blush. So well, some of you may know that I am supposed to be wearing glasses. My eyesight's been getting pretty bad here lately. My glasses though, were ran over by my boyfriend. It was my fault, not his fault, so don't get mad at him. I'll show you guys what my glasses look like because they're pretty messed up. Now it looks like I've been crying, doesn't it? I can't really see. I used to use mascara that had the little things in them that basically like build onto your eyelashes to make them look bigger, but I found out that those hurt your eyes. I've been trying to get the like most hypoallergenic mascara. This is the one I've been using for now. But it definitely comes off of my eyelashes easier and it doesn't hurt my eyes as bad. I don't do this every day, by the way. Most days I don't do any makeup at all, but my eyebrows. And half the time my hands hurt and my eyebrows are crooked anyways. So I would love to get them microbladed eventually. If you guys have any recommendations for any microblading places in Oklahoma, be very open to it and obviously i need to get a haircut as well my hair is so long you can't even see it all on the freaking frame this is like the first time i've ever done anything like this most of my videos are like sitting down and talking to the camera but honestly i have adhd and it's really hard for me to focus on my thoughts by sitting still <laughs> like do things and talk at the same time this is almost completely gone. I need to find this again because I love it. All right, so basically my makeup's done. I could do more, but I don't feel like it today. So this is it. I'm gonna go get dressed and then I'll be right back. You guys aren't ready to see my glasses. So what happened was I borrowed my boyfriend's car to go get groceries and my glasses fell out of his car. Whenever I was getting out, I didn't realize that they had fallen literally underneath the car. And when he had gone to leave, I was with him, so I didn't see the driveway where my glasses would have been laying to know that they had fallen out. So when we were backing back into the driveway, we heard the sound of some, almost sounded like a can being ran over the pop sound. And it was my glasses. This is what they look like. They're completely smashed. One of the lenses completely shattered and the other lens was okay, but I just threw them both away because they were done for. And my glasses were sticking out of this tire on this little spike right here. I don't know if you can see that. And now he has a little tiny hole in his tire and I felt so bad. My glasses are even like more damaged than his tire is. And honestly, my glasses cost more to fix than a new tire would cost for him. That's okay. These glasses were done for before they even got ran over and I need the new ones. So I'm sure that you noticed that it has been over a year since I posted last. It was never my intention to stop making videos. I was going to take a small break for a couple weeks to a month and then I did not let anybody know what happened because I was going through a lot, to be honest. I needed a little mental health break and that mental health break turned into healing, learning what I was going through. I don't wanna to get too deep into everything, but I will touch a little bit on the situation that happened in this video. And maybe if you guys wanna hear the full story, I could tell you that in the future. So one of the reasons why it took me so long to return back to YouTube and start posting again was because I didn't really know what I was gonna say to you guys. I figured I had to come back and let you know every single thing that happened and i'm just truly not ready to share that with the internet yet i was in a very very dark place one of the darkest places i've ever been my entire life i definitely did not think that there would be a light at the end of the tunnel my physical health mental health and my financial stability was definitely not okay so i am still healing from everything that happened i do still struggle with anxiety ptsd and my trauma that has been 
prominent throughout my life. One of the reasons I stopped making videos was because I would sit there and overanalyze everything about the video. I would write out what I was going to have to say word for word, and if I didn't say it right or I tripped over my words or stuttered at all, I would completely like start over the whole video or I would redo that clip and then I would have 15 clips to edit for that one sentence. It was just so bad and then I wanted to make sure that through the editing process it was perfect where you couldn't tell that I had really bad anxiety and I would keep disassociating with what I was trying to say and everything. It was just awful to be honest. And I'm sorry if the video or audio quality is not that good. I promise I will work on it in the future. I am filming in my tiny house, so I'm sure you can hear the cars driving by. Hopefully not. So today I have so far gotten my breakfast, my coffee, gotten ready for the day. I took my dogs for a walk. I gave my cat his medicine because he has been going through a lot as well. I have shared some of that story on my TikTok and we do have a GoFundMe for him. If you're interested, I will have that linked below in the description if anyone is interested in donating. All I'm asking right now is $1 if you can to go to him. He did almost pass away from kidney failure. I immediately took him up to the vet when I saw that something was wrong. He is not just a cat to me, he's my emotional support animal. So it did affect me a lot as well. I used all of the money that I had in my bank account to take him up to the vet. They said that he was not looking too good. He had kidney failure and they gave him a bunch of IVs. He also had a really bad UTI, so they gave him a catheter and a bunch of medicine as well. With the fluids that they gave him, there was also electrolytes. He was starting to recover actually, so they believe that it may be Addison's disease, which basically just causes kidney failure if it's not treated, but it is treatable and he is starting to recover from it. I did have to spend all of the money that I was saving for my gum surgery for my cat. So um, yeah, if anyone is able to donate a dollar, it would really help. We just gave him some of his medicine and he hates whenever I have to give it to him, but I give him some treats every time. So I think he's not as mad. Enough talking about, you know, sad things. Let's talk about some good things that have been happening. So my small business has been in business for over a year now, which is super exciting. I truly thought that I wasn't making any money at all for my business for a while. It took me a year to be able to do my taxes and find out that I was making a small profit which is super exciting because I found out that actually 80% that 80 of small businesses in the first year do not succeed, <laughs> like period. So we have actually been featured in an article on a website, which is really cool. And we have 4,000 followers now, which is super exciting. Thank you guys so much to anyone who has followed me or supported my social media for my business. This is one of my recent orders. It's a gothic resin set. I love how it turned out. It's so sparkly as well and there's little moon and star holographic glitters in there. So I'm just going to sand these down and pack some of these glitters while I'm talking to you guys as well. Something else that's super exciting with my small business is that I've had a few other businesses reach out to me and ask if I would partner with them by selling my products in their store. So we may have some products available near you guys very soon, which is wild. I never thought that my business would go this far, especially like this quickly to me. One thing I have been struggling with my small business is that I got carpal tunnel pretty badly and I'm not sure 100% if it's carpal tunnel. I do have some doctor's appointments to continue to go to, but basically I have to wear these. <laughs> I just dropped it. I have to wear these big braces all the time, mostly when I'm asleep but I should be wearing them all the time. I try to do my best, but it's hard to use my hands without them. I do have like little braces as well that makes it a little bit easier to move my hands around. It has just made it a little bit difficult to be able to do a lot of orders at once or to be able to work for a long period of time with my hands. So I just gotta be careful about the amount of orders that I'm making and things like that. So if you had asked me three to four years ago if I would be buying a house or being a homeowner at this age, I'm 22 now, about to be 23, I would not believe you. I never intended on buying a house this early in my life, 
but I wouldn't necessarily say that I regret it. If you do want a full video in the future of me talking about that whole experience and where we're at right now with the house, I'd be happy to make that for you. Just let me know in the comments below what you guys do want to see from me. While my computer turns on, some of you may be asking like, what now? Now that I have, you know, decided to make this return to YouTube, do I still want to make the same type of financial content or do I want to shift things a little bit? And honestly, I don't want to be put in a box. I don't want to make a certain type of content if it's not bringing me joy. Because honestly, I want to be able to share my personal journey with you guys. And there's a lot that I do. I'm a small business owner. I'm a landlord. I'm a homeowner. I would have a day job if I could. That's a whole nother story in and of itself. I make candles. I make resin art. There's so many things that I could dive into. So if y'all just let me know what you want to see from me, I'll be happy to make, you know, whatever. Will I be posting as consistently? I'm not 100% sure with you. I don't want to make any promises that I cannot keep to you guys. And one of the things with having ADHD and anxiety is that it's really hard for me to prioritize things at times. It may be hard for me to meet deadlines. So I try to plan things in advance if I can. So that being said, I do want to create videos consist consistently again. Um, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it every week. So right now I would say I'm aiming for every two weeks to post a YouTube video. I will try to post the videos on the same day of the week every time that I post so that it makes things a little bit easier. If you guys want to make sure that your notifications are turned to all notifications, that way you know every time I post a video. Or if you'll follow me on social media, I'll also let you guys know when a new video is up as well. I'm having the hardest time logging into this right now. I don't know why. Because there we go. That took me like three whole minutes now i am just trying to print out my stickers for my orders so i can get those orders packed i do also have to order business cards some resin supplies and some candle supplies including fragrance oil as well so i will just be working on that now so some other videos i would be okay with making or talking about is i love music music is one of my biggest music is one of my biggest passions and i don't share a lot of that on the internet just because i'm a little bit nervous i think that's mostly my anxiety but i honestly have fun with it and i'm trying not to care what people think anymore i'm trying to do things that i enjoy in life in general Along with that, I also have been roller skating pretty much my whole life. I haven't been in a while just because so much has been happening, but I do like to roller skate and I'd be happy to take you guys with me. I have to have someone come with me that can film. But my biggest passion of all is definitely traveling. I haven't traveled since COVID happened. I would love to travel again. My car right now is not functioning. I have to get a new transmission for my car or get my transmission fixed. So that's a whole nother thing. So there won't be much traveling videos right now, but definitely when I get a new vehicle, I would love to take you guys with me. As promised, I will be having a giveaway over on my Instagram. For the giveaway, you can choose one of my resin trays that I have already made. Here are two examples. And I can replace the stickers with anything customized and put resin over it so that it actually stays. It's got rainbows, it's a little coffin tray, you can throw your keys on it, crystals on it, whatever you want honestly. Tray, but it can also be utilized for jewelry or other things like that. So if you are interested in the giveaway, I just ask that you subscribe, you go to my Instagram, you make sure that you're following me. My Instagram will be right here. It is Nature Vibe Gifts, which is my business. And if you will just comment your favorite color, because I'll also include a custom keychain, the letter will be your name or whatever letter you would like. And you can choose, we'll say three colors for the keychain. I will also be messaging the winner of the giveaway directly on Instagram. So that's why it's super important that you go to my Instagram and you comment on that giveaway post so I can find your account and message you, let you know that you won. All right, guys, honestly, I have to run back inside and grab a few things to finish up those orders. And then I'm gonna wind down and get ready for bed and 
probably scroll for a little bit on TikTok. So if you guys aren't following on my other social media, it is Nature Vibe Gifts. I would really appreciate it if you guys follow there as well. I'm so excited to be back on YouTube. I really am excited to keep making videos. And again, let me know what type of content that you guys wanna see. I will be sure to read all the comments and I will respond to them as well. You guys are awesome and I'm so happy to be back. Thank you. I'll see you guys soon. Biggest passion. Sorry, I had to put something on my lips. It felt wrong without anything on.